Thanks for listening to Twins Baseball. Rochester is Twins territory. It's all the action on your radio home for the Twins. K-R-O-C A-M. Hey, guys. Hello. <laughs> so we finally got the Foxhole Radio to work. Uh, it is not as easy as you would think. Um, so, but I'll show you what worked for us, and uh, we've tested this a couple times, and it seems to be holding up. So, in case you didn't know, Foxhole radios don't require batteries. Um, they take power from the radio frequencies that are in the waves that uh, hit your antenna, and use that to power it, actually. Uh, so, like you can see, no batteries. Um, so the antenna that I have running down our stairwell uh, acts as a capacitor, and then with this inductor coil, which I introduced um, last, I think it was last video, uh, you get what we call a tuned circuit. And tuned circuits allow specific frequencies to pass into your circuit while preventing others from going. Um, so the frequencies that are allowed come in and they go to the razor blade here. They go up through the pencil graphite, which can conduct electricity. Um, from there, it goes to the safety pin. From the safety pin, it goes up to one half of the headphones. Yeah, through this stranded copper wire here. Um, and then the other side of the coil, of this inductor coil, goes to ground. And we connected it to a quarter inch jack, and so it'll, through that, it got connected to ground. Um, a lot of people end up putting it to, like, coiling that wire to, um, what is it, a cold water pipe, I think it is? Yeah. Yeah, but it's just easier for us to connect it to a quarter inch jack. So, we'll start at the antenna. Um, it's magnet wire that I just, again, sent down our stairwell. And for AM waves, the longer the better. So, I could probably put this all around the house and get actually quite a few more stations, but... Uh, coiling it all back up would be a nightmare. Um, and then these, this inductor coil is also made out of magnet wire. Uh, so when I first bought this, I accidentally got colored wire because <laughs> I was just enchanted by the pretty colors. And um, let me see if I can show that here. The good thing is that the color coating actually insulates it, so the wire, the colored wire pretty much acted like magnet wire, so I could just use that. And you can use like a razor blade or scissors, like the edge of the scissors, just to scrape off the coating. It's actually not too, not too difficult. Just be careful. Um, and we wind it, I winded this about oh, from 120 to 175, and I forget uh, exactly how many, but just, you know, like about two inches or so. Okay. And let's see. Okay, for the blade here, um, theoretically any steel piece can be used. Oop. Any steel piece can be used. It just needs to be treated to get this iron oxide coating, which helps it function as a diode, which is made of the blade and the pencil and the safety pin. This is a diode. So this needs that iron oxide coating, which can be done one of two ways. One, either by bluing it, which is essentially making it blue, or two, by rusting it. So um, in terms of bluing it, you can do it by using a gas flame like um, from your stove, or you can do it with chemicals that you can find at like a gunsmith shop. Um, and just to show you on the left side here, uh, the range of what I had to test with. So this is just a typical normal razor blade that you can find at Home Depot or your local hardware store. And this is one that I tried to rust with just by just sticking it in salt water. And that didn't really work too well because I guess these have protective coatings. And then this one... Yeah, so this one I just blued, um, so I just stuck the whole thing in a flame, 
and watched it turn colors and then put it in a little bit of salt water just to try to rust it a bit. This didn't really work well. And then this one, I rusted it a couple of times, so I stuck it in, I blued it, then stuck it in salt water, like twice, I would say. And you got some nice rusty spots, but it didn't really work that well for me. So finally, I decided to try this version, which, um, actually, oops. Okay, I just unplugged it. So this one's slightly different because what I did was I only blued half of it. And if you can tell, there's a really nice blue sheen. And you see that darkest band? That darkest band is where our best signal is got from. So, okay, and we'll show you that in another, in the next video actually. Uh, what else? Okay, for the pencil and the safety pin, um, so the safety pin we just bent, here's a normal safety pin, and I just bent this to 95 degree angle, and this just helps to keep pressure on the razor blade, um, and it allows a hole for you to stick your thumbtack in, like so. And actually, it used to be that they never, they didn't have pencils stuck to the end. They just had the um, safety pins. And for the pencil, all we do is bandsaw the tip of a pencil off. And a lot of people also isolate just the lead, but for me, it was way too brittle, and I don't have the skills to just isolate the pencil lead. So I just cut off the pencil tip. So you take the pencil tip, you stick the safety pin in the end and there you go okay and then that is connected to again our quarter inch jack and with the that stranded copper wire I was mentioning so um, what else that's it I think right I believe so I think so so we're gonna show how to make this nicer in the next video, so if you want to see us bluing and soldering and all that, then stay tuned. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.